Other news now, we have an update to a story you saw first on Fox yesterday. The gospel singer at the center of a lawsuit after severely injuring a child is now responding. Fox 26's Domily Keith is here with the story. Domily? That's right, Don. We do have a response from him now. And gospel music singer James Fortune says he is, quote, shocked by the lawsuit. But the father filing the suit says he's not sure why. James Fortune, according to court documents, punished his four-year-old stepson by putting him in scalding hot water. And I want to warn you, some of the pictures in this story we're about to show you are disturbing. They are pictures of burns suffered by the little boy. Yes, uh, my son just burned himself in the bathtub. These photos taken by investigators are of the four-year-old's second and third degree burns. They are so graphic we can't even show most of them on TV. The injuries look like he has been burned with fire. He is burned um, from just above his penis down to the soles of his feet and the top of portions of his buttocks and his hands up to his wrist. I could not believe that someone would do that to a four-year-old. Roderick Davenport is the four-year-old's biological father. Davenport has filed a civil lawsuit against James and Cheryl Fortune, pictured here on Gospel Today magazine. Cheryl is Davenport's ex-wife. It was November 2001 when the four-year-old was with his stepfather, James Fortune, and Fortune allegedly disciplined the four-year-old because he colored on a table at school. The child recalls being told to take his clothes off and being whipped naked and pushing him in the tub and not letting him out of the tub. Davenport says he was told by doctors the four-year-old was likely held in that scalding bathtub of water in order to receive such severe burns. Although, according to court records, Fortune first told a different story. Yes, um, my son just burned himself in the in this recording of gospel singer James Fortune calling 911 after his stepson is burned, at times you can hear the four-year-old screams in the distance. Fortune tells the 911 operator his stepson burned himself. Yes, uh, my son just burned himself in the bathtub. He messed around the bath, turned the water on high, and he burned like his feet and his hands. He burned his feet and his hands. The four-year-old spent 63 days at Shriners Burn Hospital in Galveston after he was flown there by life flight. He um, has had dreams and that awake him at night. The child has flashes of memory of skin and blood in the water. He just gives bits and pieces. Uh, he remembers the helicopter. He remembers pain, he remembers screaming, he remembers crying. In 2003, James Fortune pled guilty to felony injury to a child. He was given six years deferred adjudication. This is his mugshot from the incident. You want to be there for your child and you want to protect them as much as you possibly can. And I felt that I had dropped a ball, that I was not there for him. In a written statement, James Fortune says, quote, several months ago, I received a demand for payment from my stepson's father for an injury to my stepson that occurred in 2001. In the midst of negotiating a settlement, I was served with a lawsuit. At no time was I convicted of felony injury to a child. My family and I, including my stepson, have maintained a loving family environment. We understand these allegations are a result of not only our increased profile and financial viability, but an individual's desire to exploit such. Davenport is suing for $5 million. He says he filed the suit because now at 15 years old, his son is old enough to get plastic surgery to correct some of the scarring. And Davenport says Fortune was not agreeing to pay for those expenses. Now, Fortune's entire statement will be posted on our website. And Don, people can also find me on Facebook. There have been a lot of folks commenting. And uh, if there are any questions or comments, you can find me on Facebook at Domilee Keith Fox 26. All right, Domily, thank you. Well,